If we look at the different personality types, emotions that are going on in the world today, anger is one of those that are out of control. When I say personality type, there are actually individuals who have an identity as an angry person. And they reinforce that identity and they almost turn it into a personality type. You know, it's that type of person that's always looking to argue, right? It's that type of person that always needs to be right. It becomes their identity. It becomes basically who they are. It becomes a part of their DNA, for God's sake. It becomes their personality. They now have picked up an anger personality. A lot of it is arrogance. A lot of it is fear, believe it or not. A lot of it is low self-confidence and low self-esteem. And you might be going, David, what the hell are you talking about? So Someone who's angry, who's willing to tell you you're an idiot and you're wrong for voting for this president or voting for that one or whatever it might be, how could they have low confidence and low self-esteem? And here's the answer. Someone with really high confidence and high self-esteem has emotional regulation and they know when it's appropriate to use anger and they know that it's just a stunt or a ploy or a way to scare people or whatever it might be. Those people with emotional regulation that know when it's appropriate to be angry will get angry. Oh my Lord, they'll be angry. But they'll be angry for a reason that is justifiable to the entire world, not just to their religion, not just to their race, not just to their upbringing, right? So what makes an angry person? Number one is upbringing. Hey, if you're raised in an environment with mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, they live by or they live with you and one of them is always angry, it's very easy for us to pick that up as an identity because we're young. The subconscious mind is a sponge. It takes everything from around us and says, this is normal. You know, I've worked with people that, I remember I, I, I have done the many videos on this woman who was sexually abused from like 11 to 21 by her father, you know, and, and, and it, was, it was so horrendous to be able to see what she, went. I didn't meet her until years later, she had gained a, an extreme amount of weight, right? But, but when we look at this, when we look at these kind of instances, my very first question is, what happened to her father during his childhood? What happened? What went wrong? You know, and for her to subdue her anger meant that she gained weight, right? So, so she had many reasons to be angry. She had a father that had sexually molested her for 10, 11 years. Um, she had gained weight and she was angry about gaining weight. So, but she was embarrassed to be angry at her father. We had to get that anger out. We had to have her utilize it. You know, many women say, oh, I don't get angry. I just get frustrated. And that saddens me. It's okay to be angry. It's not okay to have an angry personality. And one of the ways it begins, I just gave a great description, is in childhood. We sort of role model and mimic those people that we grew up with. Secondly is peer pressure. If you get into a group of people that are always angry, always arguing, always having to have the last word, the odds are you're going to pick up those traits if you stay with those people long enough. Now, hopefully most of us, as we age, we become wiser, more mature, and when we see people that are always gossiping, always angry, always screaming about the pandemic or inflation or whatever, we move away from them. See, that's that angry identity. I must be right. I must win. I must have the last word. Now, I've told you all about how an angry personality begins and how does it end. Do you know in my clinical practice, we have the most powerful beginning to help people remove their anger issues. And it's a very interesting exercise. And if you want to get rid of all of your anger, I can help you in a heartbeat. Go to talkdavid.com. We've got specials right now because of inflation to help people who are suffering financially. We work with people from all over the world. I'm 45 years as a counselor, number one best-selling author, minister, life coach, you name it, we do it all. And getting to the core of anger is step number one. Where did it begin? How did it begin? Why did it begin? How long have I had it? When we have these logical answers to anger, we can remove it. Contact me at talkdavid.com. Everything we do is confidential and guaranteed. Talkdavid.com. I'm David Essel. Have a beautiful day.